Box 274, and quickly, please. Three, three, one. We have invested extensively in the Middle East and Central America to promote insurgency and revolution. Fortunately, our capital outlay has been handsomely offset by the resultant sales of armament and missiles. You will note that we have supplied both rebels and government forces on an equal basis. In matters of death, Spectre is strictly impartial. Not for the future. Spectre's most audacious enterprise of any next to which our previous ventures are inconsequential. Our esteemed number one is in complete charge of the entire operation, which will henceforth be called the Tears of Allah. He will now join us. According to plans, an American Air Force officer has been introduced to a cruel mistress. Heroin. I understand he is now our willing and obedient servant. A surgical operation has been performed on him as a result of a corneal implant. His right eye print is now an exact replica of that of the President of the United States. He will soon be moved to a convalescent clinic near London. I have chosen number 12 to have the responsibility of taking the most tender, loving care of Captain Jack Pitocci. <laughs> One minute, 47 seconds, sir. Not too shabby, sir. The dead, 007, dead. You should have studied the plot more carefully. Fanatical revolutionaries kidnap a millionaire's daughter and hold her captive for eight weeks. Of course, she could have been brainwashed. Could have turned. Evidently, she did. With due respect, sir, I played your war games for two weeks, and I only got killed once. Twice. You've forgotten the landmine on the Black Sea beach. Correction, sir. I lost both legs. I did not die. You were immobilized. 